Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Mr. Balelish and in today's episode we are going to go into the Unknown City hunting for dragon horns. I do believe that the best tool to get the dragon horns is the pickaxe, so I'm going to gather our sorcerer scrolls, go to a caravan and trade it for a black blood pick, which is one of the best tools in the game. We'll probably go through the den on our way to that caravan. And then we head into the Unnamed City. We're taking our undead army into the den and see if we can get some more skulls, some more sorcerer skulls, and if there's a good crafter thrall, we might have to take him back real quick. Okay, one of the hyenas is coming for us, and his little friend. Those guys are a bit late for the party, not sure what happened with them. Let's help them out a little bit here. Let's get these guys here because they have a bearer and the bearer is always a cool thing to get. Just a little surprise. Let's take the supply materials. Let's go through here. Kill this entire group. It's coming. Go for this one. There's a lot of them going for the horse for some reason. Let's protect Corpse Mirror here. goodies from here. Okay, another group. Where are they going? Oh, I told them to move there. That's my bad. Take that guy, yeah. Just to take anyone. I have them on passive just so if we run into a tier 4 thrall, they don't just instantly, instantly kill them. You guys can defend yourselves. Oh, there's a sorcerer 3 that came from I don't know where. Okay, there's a lot of people coming. Which is fine. We also have a lot of people on our side. Well, not people. And former people. do have a challenge to defeat Aenas, so we might try to accomplish that challenge on the way. Okay, it's done. Some more goodies. Some golem parts are really cool as well because we do want to keep crafting some golems. 
they didn't impress me that much, but they're really cool though. Let's just check for another sorcerer scroll here. We have another sorcerer scroll there, which is really cool. Another bear. Those are another supply. Oh, we're getting heavy already. We barely left home. Ulrich the Mountaineer. We're going to kill him because we don't want to walk around with. Mm. We should get him. Now let's let's get him. If we want to go on the farming run, we can take him with us without any weapons. And then, until then, we keep him uh, in prison. It's just a tier 4, is a tier 4, and is really... We're also getting a bit heavy right away, so we can drop off some weight on, on our base as well. That's why we came through the den, and that's why we put these guys on passive, so... We are arriving with our tier 4 bearer. Let's just put him in the Wheel of Pain. Perfect. We don't have Gruul, but we're not going to bother with that right now. We have to go back up and just shed a little bit of weight off our backs. Because we still have a long way to go. And now we can still go through the den, but we're just not going to stop to kill anyone. The Chaos Mouth. This is where you end the game if you want to remove your bracelet. some poison in because we know these guys are are really tough okay I wasn't planning on stopping at the savannah but since Morgana really likes animals, I think I'm getting some tigers for her. And I see three baby tigers there, I cannot pass out on that. So I'm going to quickly go get them. Come here, babies. Come on. Hmm, the last small one's over there. 
Why am I almost encumbered? Okay, all, all the hides here. Okay, let's go quick grab and snatch. Yep. And now we get on our trusty. No, no. Come here. Come here, corpse mirror. Don't run away from me, please. Let's run away together. You have a good plan, but it's just let's do it together. Oh, 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 oh. That was a close one. Easy now. Okay, we might have to fight those guys. It's not a big problem because we can use the venom glands. I think this is the caravan that gives us the blood pick, the black blood pick, so we are going to turn in our sorcerer skulls. Okay, there's oh, they're over there, guide, elephant, queen lion, rhino, everything that we want. Let's put all of these there. All right. How many obulus in total? 52. Hmm. I kind of wanted another crafted thrall from... Let's just get the blood pick and then we get the... the crafted thrall later on. We have the blood pick. Great success. Uh, we also have a lot of weight on us. The chitin we don't need. That we will need. Okay. Okay, we are arriving back at the base. We are going to drop off some of the stuff we got because of the weight. And we're going to craft something for Morgana. Uh, these. Okay. These we will take with us. And we'll craft the Tainted Father here, real quick, for Morgana's new horse. And then we'll head down to Morgana's base and then up to the unnamed city. Let's get going. Hello, Morgana. Can I come in? Hello, Necrocati. Come on in. Okay. Are you animals not going to attack me? They're friendly? Not unless I order them. Very well, very well. They're more trustworthy than people, that's for sure. I know you like animals, so I brought you some. I got wow. them on, the, on one of my travels. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for remembering me. I always remember you. Um, um, yeah, yesterday I discovered a new place, Dagon Descent, and I brought an element that belonged to a sorcerer, which might interest you, I don't know. So oh, for I sure. I propose a trade. Yeah, okay, for sure it will interest me. Can you show me? Yes. Uh, can you show me the animals? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Sure, sure. Uh, they're on the horse. Oh, he's over there. I'm going to get him. Okay? Okay. I see you made a lot of progress in your base. It's looking really cool. Thanks. 
I'm going to drop these tiger cubs that you can train them up and this tainted father that can turn your horse into a white horse if when you train a new one. Cool. Oh yeah, this is a, a golem piece. That's that definitely interests me. And some sorcerer skulls are always welcome. Okay, I'm glad. Okay, you can pick up your stuff. All right, now I have to get going. Uh, I'm going into the named city on a quest. Thank you for the trade, and Thank I'll see you. you. And I'll see you soon. All right, bye. All right, bye bye. <laughs> Okay, we are arriving at the unnamed city from the south. There should be some giant bats over here that we can kill for the demonic blood. There's one there. Not sure what tool we use for the blood, but let's use the pick. Okay, we did get a bit. We can try the cleaver for the next one. Ouch. Alright. Some flesh, some demon blood. We got a lot more with the pick, but that's probably because this pick is so much better than our cleaver. We might just use it for everything. There's also a three skull bat. Oh, there's quite a few of them right here. And at the bottom there's a, a three skull one. Ouch. Okay, we have to be careful. These guys do hit quite a bit. Let's see. There's the big boy down there. That's the first real world boss that we're going to try. Hopefully it's going to go okay. I have to be careful because I'm not used to running around this corrupted. Okay, should we just jump down here? Probably. This is a corrupted area, but that doesn't matter to us too much because we are already full corruption. Let's see how our zombies fare against this one. Okay. Okay. Stamina back. Wants us, uh, the bleeds and the, the poison really get grabbed its uh, aggro.
Okay, so far so good. Our zombies aren't very strong in terms of HP. Okay, did they grab aggro? Yes. We should save some of them, some of the poison to the, for the dragons. Ouch. Still trying to get onto us, but our zombies are body blocking them. And we killed our first three skull boss of the series. That was really good. We got an armor repair kit, a fragment of power, some grease orb, and this guy should give us some demon blood as well. Gold dust, okay. Even though they are small, they're still quite tough, so we have to be careful with how we approach this anyway. Let's try to grab the attention of only one of these dragons. Should be only one down here. trying to reach us while he's trying to reach us our guys can freely hit him all right perfect now let's see what we get with this pickaxe one dragon bone actually one dragon horn I'm not sure if we can get more than one with, from these guys. We only already learned the Dragonbone weapons, so it might not be a bad idea to just get a, a couple of extra. Okay, we have 20 bleed stacks on him. Just keep the bleed stacks and avoid getting damaged. Perfect. Let's see if we can get more than one. Got one there. Okay, we got one again. Should we try for the big one right away? We still have some poisons, two of those. Let's tell the horse to stop following us. Is this the red mother? Yep. Jesus.
Okay. Tschüss. Okay. Uh, Tentrum attack. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, let's run away. Run, zombies, run! We bit too much. Jesus, can't see anything here. Jeez. I don't have a torch. I'm a sorcerer, I don't walk around with torches. Let's see if we can quickly cast a spell there. Alright. Are you all alive? Well, you did survive. Do you have some food on you? You do. Okay. So the big dragon is a bad idea. Yeah, the sandstorm is rolling through. Where are we going? Okay, seems like we lost one on that on that boss. Mm. Okay, there's some small ones here and a big one there. Um, we might try to kill that big one. Just because I think he's considerably easier than the brood mother, the red mother. Come on, move out of the way. Out of the way. Corpse smear. dragon horn we have three total this is going to take a while guys Just assuming the dragon is taking poison damage from the cloud. If I use this, do I take poison damage? No. Good. That's good to know. Okay, he's coming after me, so I'm assuming it's because I did do some damage with those with those orbs. Small one's coming. It's going to hit him once for the for the bonus. 
that enervates my guys and they deal extra damage. Okay. Really should have a weapon here. Skeleton on zombie fight. The first skeleton goes down. The zombies are leveling the playing field. Another skeleton down. Zombies, the flesh does make a difference. They keep going. Uh, the living are the useless ones in this in this fight. The skeleton misses, the zombie misses. Oh, the skeleton is going against the living, but the living isn't fighting back. And the zombie gets him from behind. Now, what we're going to try is use a sickle on these guys to see if we get better chances of skulls. Not sure if we do. We did get one weathered skull there. Here we're going to attempt to take one of these guys to back to base to turn them into a zombie. Mistakes were made. Once again, mistakes were made. Hmm. All right. Our our army of the dead is well dead, but a lot more dead than the were just a minute ago, so that really sucks. Um, we have to replenish our numbers with good thralls this time because going into the unnamed city without proper thralls doesn't doesn't pan out in our favor. Okay, so I know our plan was to go farm the dragon horns. We did get five of them, but it's proving to be a little bit more difficult than anticipated. The, our zombies were dying quite quickly. So we're going to try and get some good thralls. For that, I'm going to go get some Black Lotus from the jungle and see if I can craft that new potion and what the potion does. That means the episode's objectives changed a little bit, but it should be should be a fun little trip. Let's go.
We are here at the Black Lotus Garden. We are going inside and get as much Black Lotus as we can because this is quite far away. We might also get the Obelisk while we're here, it's really close by. We need to take a large quantity because this is quite far away and I'm not sure how good those portions are. So if they're really good, I might be making a lot of them. I think we got all of it, or at the very least, very close to getting all of it. We have 750, which should be en enough to last us until we we actually get the map room and we can access this place quite easily after that. Up here we just want the obelisk and then we're going to jump down and start our journey back home. Some more stamina. Bye bye. Where is Corpse Mirror? I'm your buddy. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's just go back home. We're back home. That was a long trip to just get some Black Lotus. Usually it's a resource that you just don't go out of your way to get. But with these new potions, maybe it's an important one. So I have a hitch to test it out and I'm going to scratch it. Black Lotus. And what else did we need? Just some water orbs. Okay, let's make five of these. And also make some cloth pouches because we are going to need some spells to support our attempt. Okay, we are going into the name city once again, but this time to get some relic hunters. We have some purple lotus orbs and some cloth pouches to try something new. Let's get going nice and quick. I also have to figure out what the closest Relic Hunter camp is from our base. Give some space to the giant danger noodle over there. Okay, so there's some humans there. They already mad at me? That's a long way to aggro us. So these are definitely the closest camp from us. Now, let's try this out. See if we can get these guys. Yep. Okay. They lose consciousness so slow. Out. 
Shit. I recover some stamina. Get the potions down here. Drink. And okay. All right, we we got him at the end, but it wasn't it didn't go as planned. These guys are really tough. The potion war was a bit of a letdown. I understand that Funcom didn't want to make sorcery completely overpowered, but some of the stuff isn't very useful. Like this potion, the idea is really cool. You can AOE reduce the consciousness of several thralls at the same time, but if you have to spend like 10 potions to knock out one thrall, one good thrall. It's not very useful. It's not very useful at, at all. Uh, using the mirror image, putting the thralls in, and then knocking them down with the potions, like one, more than one at a time. It's like a bit of resources that you employ into that plan, and you should be rewarded for it. I'm sure there's some good uses for these potions, maybe low level camps where you can just knock them out quickly, but if it's not useful for late game stuff, it's not going to be really useful for anyone. But that's just my thoughts about the matter. I really like all the thematic things around the sorcery, but so far there's a few cool stuff that you can use, but it's nothing beats putting on a big two-ended weapon and just smashing everything to bits. Okay guys, so this is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We did go into the Unnamed City, but it didn't go as planned. Uh, the content was a bit hard for our zombies, so we are on the process of getting better ones to go back in. Any comments or suggestions, feel free to comment below, and I hope to see you next time.